Hi everyone, this is Ishwant and uh, today I am going to explain you about emotion speech detection using SVM. We have done this project under, gui under the guidance of Mrs. G. N. Bina Vethal Ma'am, CSE department. So this is the current research topic in the field of HCI with wide range of applications. So generally the things that we are taking into consideration are MEL frequency septal coefficients that is MFCC and MEL energy septal dynamic coefficients that are MADC. So these are extracted from our speech. So generally uh, the support vector machine is used for this uh, so as to classify the different emotion states such as anger, happiness, sadness and uh, neutral. So what actually happens? So this I can explain you in the two cases. The first one is like building a particular model which takes our input and uh, the model itself classifies the output and it generates the output. So how the first thing like I will explain you. So the, our input emotion speech is taken and then from that speech we are we will extract the futures and after extraction of these futures we, are, we will lab label this particular futures and these labeling after done with labeling we are we will send this into SVM training. From this SVM training we will develop or build a particular model. Out of that model, we will use SVM classification to build, uh, to give or build the output emotion class. So, uh, we will explain in deep about these things. The first one is future extraction. So, in this future extraction, the main two coefficients that are required are MVCC and MFCC and MVDC. So, MFCC stands for MEL frequency septal coefficients. So, what actually done is first the our emotion speech is taken or it is given as an input then it is pre-processed like during pre-process we will try to we will try to make that as like clear of noise and out of that we will make into different number of frames in that framing process and after frames of being done we will try to clear the edges we will cut the edges using uh, some specific algorithms in windowing after that we will do four year fast four year transformations and out of that the, uh, like some coefficients are extracted out of this and these are sent into different types of mel frequency blanks and from there we will do some mathematical calculations out of which we will calculate this specific mel frequency substitute coefficients so the next is the mel energy spectral dynamic coefficients this also happens the same thing except the last two things are changed the first one is uh, the last two things are like mean log energies so here instead of calculating frequencies we will calculate the energies and we will try to differentiate so as to get maximum frequency and energies out of this so from this we will calculate or extract MEDC values now we are done with extraction now it's time to label these extracted values so in future labeling each extracted feature is stored in a database along with its class label so through the SVM is binary classifier it can also be used for classifying multiple classes so each feature is associated with its class example angry happy sad neutral fear etc so after that we are into SVM classification so what actually happens in SVM classification is our input is taken and out of this defined classes which we are given so it acts as a vector machine in which it takes the input and it will try to calculate itself using that particular energy values and coefficient values and it will generate a model out of that model the result or output can be seen in the in terms of percentage values so now we'll go into in-depth how to give input and how to calculate the values so we are use NetBeans IDE so as to do this specific project so uh, like the source files can be seen under SRC folder out of which we are defi defined many many files such as capture.java mfcc.java like these are all the window files or the main files as I can say so I'll explain uh, the interface file so generally the interface could be so it can be run using shift F6 the shortcut file or directly you can click on that then after the compilation process you can see the main window yeah 
so the main things that are like items that you can see here are training of data sets testing of wave files testing the mic files such as our voice inputs and uh, selecting train test like out of which particular training set we want to select a particular set and the display command window like it is the output window which shows the display and this is what the main interface is I'll now I'll explain how actually to give input and how features are extracted an example input is given here right now so click on test wave file so I am giving an input wave file which is in the form of mp3 or .wav so I am selecting any particular random file so as you can see here in the output window uh, like like you can see the sound run applet is running so here a particular series of predictions are done with each particular class such as anger happiness, normal, boredom, etc. So now the MFCC and MEDC values are calculated for the particular file which is selected. After the values are created, these values are like predicted, like after the creation or calculating the values, these are compared with the particular values and out of that will predict some values. So these values after predicted, these are tested with all the classes which are there. So it generally takes one to two minutes so as to run the whole file. Meanwhile, I'll explain you how and what actually the files such as MFCC and MF MEDC values are calculated. So generally, so generally these are the imported classes, and uh, as you can see, the final class MFCC. This is the main core file, as I can say, and uh, these are the different things. And here the input is taken and framing is done and we are calculated to the edges we are cut the edges using the hamming window like defining the size of the window then we calculated MEDC values like similarly this all happens for each and every class which is there so now the output can be seen here so generally the file which we are selected is anger file so as the input file belongs to particularly anger so you can see the MFCC and MEDC values as 100% and 100%. So like, uh, now what is the actual value? You can like mean these both, like MFCC and MEDC mean. So it is 100. So generally the file which is selected is, input file which is selected is anger. So the output is given as an anger. So that's what. So now after this we can also test our input mic file using uh, your microphone or something like that. So like click on the third option test mic file. So here you can directly capture your file voice that is and you can stop and you can play the recorded file. So once after capturing is done the whole process again starts like predicting everything with belonging to classes and trying to calculate the MFCC and MEDC values and then the output is predicted. So as I said it takes around one to two minutes who has to calculate each and everything. you can see the output as I was shouting a little bit. So
so the output is given as anger so that's it thank you